Okay, spitters. I decided to film myself painting this sign I made earlier because I keep getting people knocking on my door while I'm working from home and it inspired me to make this. <laughs> so I'm going to paint it and you can watch me. Uh, for what I, how I do this is I get a paper plate and that is my palette. And I'm just going to start with black to fill in the letters. And I also have this water bottle. I think it was like a dollar at the craft store or something. And I like to spray the actual ink. Spray this. So yeah, you know, I alternate and just do whatever works. I like to just experiment as I go. To start off, well, this needs to be enough to get in these little grooves. And I want the wood to be wet so I can wipe the extra paint off the outside of the letters. So we'll try that. I should have sealed this first with sanding sealer, but we'll just see what happens. It's getting the outside and not the inside. I might have to try my toothpick. I think I'm going to start with my lightest color around the letters to make sure they don't get lost. And then I'll do darker colors around the edges. So my favorite color is turquoise. I'm using my favorite combination of colors. Blue, purple, and green. I love it. Come out. That letters are popping already. I like to do a mixture of saturated and diluted. 
could give it some dimension. I don't want it only on the letters either. Okay, I think that looks good. And then we'll get a new tissue. And uh, let's do a dark blue. We don't need a lot, especially for this little pretty thing. Sometimes I'll go like this and then go like this so I don't have like a whole saturated tissue. And I like to go from color to color so it transitions, like they, so they blend together. And those look not very blendy, so I will start diluting more and more until they blend. I might have overdone the blue, I think. But that's okay. You can just go back later with a lighter color. It doesn't. There's no way to mess this up. Because if the purple's too light, it looks kind of icky. Alright, that's pretty. and do more light blue because you can hardly see it now. So more turquoise. So 
Oh yeah, this is the one that doesn't want to come out. just end up doing a glaze over the whole thing so that's how I did my my barn door it was a happy accident With how unicorn spit it just everything blends together like that's what you meant to do all along. I just I just let it tell me what it wants to do really. you guys enjoyed my, watching my process okay here goes nothing hope this is enough expert with resin so do not take what I do as any <laughs> any way to do resin because like I said I just experiment on the go Maybe I won't do the edges, that way I don't have to worry about it being weird. But I think it'll shrink and then it'll look, resin like shrinks back a little when it's curing, so that might look weird. So I think I will make it go over the edge and hope that it doesn't do that weird thing. And after I'm done with Getting it where I want it, I'm gonna get a heat gun and pop all the bubbles. I don't think I have enough to go over the edges very well. Chassis. Looks pretty cool. That resin really makes the unicorn spit pop. Okay. 
Okay. this turns out. And here's the final product. Now I'll just have to figure out a way to stick it above my doorbell. Pretty happy with how it came out. <laughs>